In this video, I'm going to show you how to graph a transformed parabola by applying transformations to the base graph of y equals x squared. Recall that the base function y equals x squared can be graphed by subbing in x values. If I sub in 0 and square it, I get 0. I can plot that point right here. If I sub in 1 and square it, I get 1. I can plot that point here. Substituting x equals 2, I get 4, and I'm going to sub in negative 1 and negative 2 to produce these points here. I can connect these five points with a nice smooth curve to produce the graph of the base function y equals x squared. In order to transform this parabola, I'm going to apply the transformations that I see in this equation from left to right. This red negative in front of the two suggests that I have a reflection over the x-axis. I can take all of my y values of my base graph and multiply them by negative one to reflect them over the x-axis. The x values will stay the same, but all of the y values will become negative. You can see the reflected graph shown in red. Again, all of the x values staying the same, but the y values becoming negative. The next transformation moving from left to right is a vertical stretch by a factor of two. Because this value is greater than one, I know that I'm going to multiply all of my y values by two, resulting in a stretch. Starting with this point here, the y value is currently negative one. If I multiply negative one by two, I get negative two. This point here is currently also at negative 1, so it will end up at negative 2 as well. These two points are both at negative 4. Multiplying both of the y values here by 2 results in negative 8 for each of them. The reflected and vertically stretched parabola is shown here in blue. Reading from left to right, the next transformation I see is a horizontal translation to the right by 2 units. I can pick each of these points up and move them to the right by 2. This point is currently at 1, negative 2. Moving it to the right by two, we'll place it at three, negative two. I can take a similar approach to translate the other points to the right by two units as well. And I can show the resulting parabola in green. The last transformation reading from left to right is a vertical translation up by one unit. I can take each of the points on this green graph and move them up by one to produce this orange graph. Comparing this graph to the original base function, this parabola is reflected over the x-axis, stretched vertically by a factor of two, translated to the right by two units, and translated up by one unit. If this video helped in any way, like and subscribe for more mathematical chaos. And as usual, thanks for watching.